Hey everyone, you know fires can happen anywhere, right? Causing catastrophic injury and damage in the blink of an eye. So to all the brave and heroic firefighters out there who put their lives on the line to keep us safe, we thank you for your service. But even the bravest firefighter can't put out a fire alone. So enter the fire trucks, send in the bombers, radio the fire boats, and deploy the tanks. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 15 most amazing firefighting vehicles. Let's begin this one. Number 15. Falcon 8x8 The Falcon 8x8 is what all fire trucks aspire to be. Big, technologically advanced, and highly effective. Plus, it looks really cool. The Falcon 8x8 comes from the National Firefighting Manufacturing, which is a company that manufactures, yeah, you guessed it, firefighting products and equipment. The company is located in Jebel Ali, about 20 miles south of Dubai. This company states that their main objective is to build top-tier firefighting equipment, fire protection systems, fire alarm, security, and safety engineering systems. They've clearly fulfilled that objective when they built the Falcon 8x8. This thing is the largest fire truck in the world, and it's probably the most expensive. It's an eight-wheeled fiberglass beast that has 900 horsepower, and it weighs in at a whopping 54 tons. But even though this thing is heavy, like really, really heavy, it can still barrel along at 50 miles an hour, and it can get to that speed in under 25 seconds. The Falcon 8x8 can carry 16,000 liters of water along with 1,900 liters of foam. The cabin holds six people, and the truck has a roof-mounted nozzle that can fire out high-powered streams of water. This is important because the truck was built for airport fires, so the high position allows it to attack fires that are higher up, like on the wing of a plane or on the roof. The truck also has the under-truck protection nozzle that sprays water beneath the truck. This ensures that the truck's underbelly doesn't get too hot, and it also cools off the ground to prevent the truck from catching on fire or from melting. Number 14. Rosenbauer Panther Hailed as one of the most successful, most efficient, and most versatile ARFF vehicles in the world, the Rosenbauer Panther is the most modern fighting vehicle around. Now, needless to say, this beast of a firefighting vehicle has everything it needs to put out fires quickly and safely, with its unparalleled driving dynamics, superior maneuverability, and extraordinary extinguishing performance. The Rosenbauer Panther will pounce like a panther on any flames it comes across. And since forest fires are on the rise, with the United States alone seeing an average of 61,000 wildfires annually from 2012 to 2021, having a fire truck that can go out into the wild is very important. In fact, more than 7.4 million acres of land are affected by wildfires annually in the United States, so the Bulldog Extreme is really up against extreme conditions. With a length of up to 24 feet, this vehicle's up to the challenge. It's fascinating to watch. This massive firefighting vehicle is a sight to behold as it barrels its way through pretty much anything in its path. It's not just long, though. It's also pretty heavy, weighing in at 12 tons. The Bulldog Extreme boasts an engine with 350 horsepower, and to put out those fires, it can carry up to 2,000 gallons of water and or foam. However, it seems like a small price to pay to save lives. I don't know about you, but if I'm ever in the throes of a fire, I want the very best fire truck to come sirening in. So although the price tag seems a bit hefty, what's your life worth? Number 13. The Big Wind Not all firefighting vehicles are trucks, as you'll see with this next vehicle. The Big Wind is a firefighting tank, and she's a force to be reckoned with. This thing was built on the chassis of a Russian T-34 tank, but in place of the original gun turret, the tank was equipped with a pair of Tomansky turbojets. Together, they produced 27,000 pounds of thrust. From there, each engine was outfitted with three water nozzles, and each nozzle can project up to 220 gallons of water per second. So what's this behemoth firefighting monster used for? Well, oil fires. Putting out oil fires is not the same as putting out other fires like forest fires. When oil blasts out of a wellhead, the primary flame can be as high as 30 feet in the air. But because Big Wind can project that water at such a great intensity, it cuts off the supply of oil to the flame, while at the same time sucking out massive amounts of heat from the surrounding area. The air around burning wells can reach temperatures of up to 650 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's not even the worst part. The sand below can reach a scorching 1300 degrees. So it's not just the physical flame of the fire that has to be dealt with in oil fires. It's also that scorching sand. The oil can auto-ignite if it splashes back onto the hot sand, so big wind can spray continuously even after the fire's out to help cool off the sand. For those reasons, big wind was brought to Kuwait when hundreds of oil wells were burning. 
She was deployed via aerial transport, and a crew of three fought the oil well fires. One drove it, one controlled the jet engines and water nozzles, and a third walked beside it to give the ones in the tank commands. All in, Big Wind successfully put out nine oil well fires in Kuwait. Today, well, she doesn't do much since she's far too powerful for most urban fires, but her legacy lives on as one of the most impressive firefighting machines ever built. Number 12. Unimog U-5023 The Unimog is an off-road firefighting vehicle, so when fire flares in hard-to-reach areas, it's Unimog to the rescue. This amazing truck is manufactured in Germany, and it was specifically designed to fight fires in difficult places such as forests, which is essential in the firefighting industry since forest fires wreak havoc on significant amounts of land worldwide each and every year. The truck is an impressive 19 feet long and weighs a hefty 14 tons. The truck's got an engine with 240 horsepower, and when called to duty, the Unimog can race down at a top speed of 55 miles an hour, which might not sound that fast, but given its weight and size, it's a pretty impressive speed. It can also climb up a slope with a 45 degree angle, and its water tank has a 1,000 gallon capacity. And given the fact that fires can pretty much arise anywhere, firefighting vehicles like the Unimog are essential because they allow firefighters to physically get to the fires. Rural areas present their own firefighting challenges, especially difficult terrain. So when fires strike in rural areas, well, without trucks like these, it could all very well go up in smoke. Number 11. L32A XS 3.0 Firefighting vehicles aren't just about putting out fires, although that's obviously their main purpose, but sometimes firefighters and their trucks need to rescue as well as put out fires. The L32A XS from Austria is a firefighting rescue truck that has both an escalator and a rescue platform. Unlike our forest firefighting, tough terrain touting barreling through the bushes other types of fire trucks, the L32A XS is designed to work in much narrower spaces like city streets. One of its main functions is to help people get out of danger safely. Now, everyone should have a fire evacuation plan in place for their home, and every business should have one for their employees. But sometimes, even the best laid plans can go awry, and when they do, people need fire trucks like this one to help them escape from a building that's engulfed in flames. Furthermore, firefighters don't just fight fires, they also rescue people, so anyone stuck in a high place, for whatever reason, can be rescued with the help of this truck and its friendly neighborhood firefighting team. The truck can, of course, also put out fires, expelling about 525 gallons of water per minute with a remote control device. Its engine's got 300 horsepower, and it's able to work at a height of 137 feet. Number 10. Magiro Super Dragon The supersized Magiro Super Dragon is responsible for putting out super big fires at airports. This large vehicle can come with a 17,000 liter water tank, which can be used for large extinguishing jobs. She can hold either three, four, or six firefighters at a time, depending on the specific size and model chosen. She boasts gigantic performance and flexibility in one package. She's got a maximum speed of about 135 kph and a gross vehicle weight of 52,000 kilograms, with an acceleration of about 23 seconds. And since fires at airports are more common than we might want to believe, it's mega fire trucks like these that keep everyone on the tarmac and the plane and the terminal safe. Fires at airports are most often caused by something electrical, like short circuits, by hot work, like involving burning or welding, and by miscellaneous incidents involving minor explosions, or there are often passengers on planes with massive fuel tanks. The risk of huge explosions is high, so airport fire trucks are especially designed to deal with a wealth of unique problems and situations that airport fires pose. Seems like the only thing that this fire truck can't do is fly, which is a shame given its name, but this Super Dragon is strictly groundbound. Number 9. Titan All right, anything that bears the name Titan is expected to have some pretty stellar proportions, capabilities, or size. So you better believe the Titan ARFF E1 firefighting vehicle is one impressive truck. Manufactured in the United States, the Titan is 32 feet long and weighs 20 tons. But its sheer size is not the only impressive feature of this flame squelcher. The Titan's got an engine with 670 horsepower, so this baby's powerful. Now, as you're surely aware, anytime a fire breaks out, time is of the essence. The race is on for firefighters to get there as quickly as possible, which is why you must absolutely pull aside if you're on the road and you hear those fire engine sirens. Every second counts. The Titan achieves the goal of getting there fast by going from 0 to 50 miles an hour in just 24 seconds, and when it gets to its destination, it can blast out 1,500 gallons of water onto the fires thanks to its enormous water tank. It's also capable of holding 225 gallons of firefighting foam. 
and it can pump out 290 gallons of water per minute. Needless to say, if I were a fire, I would fear the Titan. Number 8. The Rosenbauer RT Concept Fire Truck with more and more vehicles jumping on the Go Green bandwagon, it should come as no surprise that there's a fire truck out there that's electric. The concept fire truck by the Rosenbauer Group is manufactured in Austria, but unlike other electric vehicles, which are often small, the concept fire truck measures in at 25 feet and weighs 17 tons. It's got an engine with 470 horsepower and can zip along at speeds of 68 miles an hour. The concept fire truck is equipped with four-wheel drive when calls to duty take it on perilous roads, and it even has the capability to drive in snow. The truck has an autonomy of about two hours, and it's also installed with a diesel generator. The water tank can hold 300 gallons, which isn't as big as some of the other big trucks out there. But where it lacks in water tank capacity, it makes up in versatility and ingenuity. But one of the coolest parts of this fire truck is that it has a multi-purpose robot, and the robot can be controlled remotely. Rosenbauer prides itself on its revolutionary technology, or the RT for short, that it's developed, or at least it does on its website. It also prides itself on building fire trucks of the future. The truck's got a charging capacity of up to 150 kilowatts, so the truck can perform short-range operations in purely electric fashion. However, when the need to go further, it can switch over to its diesel engine. Both the lighting and the equipment are also charged by battery, so when the truck stops, the engine is automatically deactivated, making it emissions-free, both on the road and while it works. Highly innovative, the Rosenbauer RT is likely the type of truck we'll see more of in the future, as we all band together to reduce our carbon footprint. Number 7. Bulldog Extreme 4x4 like a lot of other fire trucks on this list, the Bulldog Extreme 4x4 has off-road capabilities, but this one is manufactured in the United States. The Bulldog Extreme is used for forest fires and emergencies. And since forest fires are on the rise, with the United States alone seeing an average of 61,000 wildfires annually from 2012 to 2021, having a fire truck that can get out into the wild quickly is very important. In fact, more than 7.4 million acres of land are affected by wildfires annually in the United States, so the Bulldog Extreme is really up against extreme conditions. But with a length of 24 feet, the vehicle is up to the challenge. It's fascinating to watch. This massive firefighting vehicle is a sight to behold as it barrels its way through pretty much anything and everything in its path. It's not just long, though. It's also heavy, weighing in at 12 tons. The Bulldog Extreme boasts an engine with 350 horsepower, and to put out those fires, it can carry up to 2,000 gallons of water and or foam. Number 6. The V-BIM 5500S The V-BIM, for short, is a really unique fire truck because of its versatility. This amazing firefighting vehicle doesn't just travel on roads, it's also designed to run on trails. The truck is made in Italy, and it features a hydraulic system that lets this amazing vehicle rise and ride along on rails. The truck was specifically designed for the Chinese market, with the purpose of putting out fires along both railways and metropolitan lines. This makes sense, seeing as China is home to some of the most massive and busiest high-speed rails on the planet. Fires can happen anywhere, and so when one breaks out on any rail line, it's the V-BIM to the rescue. But along with the truck's ability to ride the rails, the V-BIM truck also features an automatic exterior lighting system. Since fires don't care if it's night and day, the lighting system comes in handy when those flames decide to lick the night skies. They also come in handy when the truck is somewhere enclosed and dark, like a tunnel or an underground system. It's pretty powerful, too, with tanks that can hold up to 1,100 gallons of water and 300 gallons of foam. This V-BIM can put out fires with the best of them. Number 5. Striker The name of this next firefighting vehicle is one that could lend itself to some pretty fun hashtags, such as, when fire strikes, it's striker to the rescue, or striker, the fire truck that strikes fear into the heart of fires. And you might have images in your head now of this fire truck pulling up to apartment fires or buildings ablaze. Striker is actually designed for airports. The truck measures in 34 feet and weighs 40 tons. It's equipped with a 680 horsepower engine. Striker is not as powerful as the planes it comes to help, but it's pretty powerful as far as fire trucks go. It's also pretty fast, with a top speed of about 68 miles an hour, and it's got one of the biggest water tanks on this list, with a capacity of about 29,000 gallons of water. But since this vehicle is built to put out fires on the runway, this pretty cool vehicle has something that other firefighting vehicles don't. It's got a special little injector that can pierce right into the airplane's fuselage so that water can be expelled directly inside. Number 4. CZS-40 
The CZS-40 is an armored truck that boasts a sealed cab, and like castles, beer, and pierogies, the truck's manufactured in the Czech Republic. The CZS measures 36 feet and weighs 36 tons, it's got a 3,200-gallon tank capacity, and can pump out 1,000 gallons of water per minute. It's also pretty powerful. It's got an engine with 500 horsepower, and like most fire trucks, it's pretty fast, with a speed of 56 miles per hour. But unlike other fire trucks, the CZS has a very specific purpose. It's not used to quash out urban fires, nor is it used to rip through rough terrain and quell wildfires. It's also not used for airports. Instead, the CZS is specifically used to put out fires in chemical plants or in other unsafe locations. Fires at chemical plants aren't that common, and they're not nearly as common as forest fires or even airport fires. However, when a fire at a chemical plant does break out, it can have catastrophic consequences, depending on the chemicals inside the building. Some chemicals are highly explosive, some are highly toxic. Chemical plant fires can explode into massive fires igniting everything around them. They can also release toxins and poisons into the air, so obviously those types of fires come with their own risks, and this fire truck meets the demand of all sorts of fires. Currently, the CZS-40 is in service with the Czech Republic Fire Department. Number 3. Singapore's Powerful Fireboats Deemed the world's most powerful fireboat, the Red Sailfish is a fierce firefighting machine. The Red Sailfish was commissioned in 2019, and it's operated by Singapore's Civil Defense Force. She was one of three fireboats that were all commissioned at the same time, but of the three, the other two being the Red Manta and the Red Dolphin, Red Sailfish packs the most punch. She can push out 53,000 gallons of water per minute, and she's fully protected against chemical, biological, and radiological threats. She features a unique navigational aid, too. It's an autopilot that keeps her on station when the thrust from the water she's spewing tries to push her off course. This differs from the features of the Red Manta, which is a catamaran rescue fireboat. The Red Manta can hold up to 300 rescuees, project 9,900 gallons of water per minute, and it's equipped with 12 decontamination showers. Red Manta also has a large boardroom which acts as a headquarters when there are several emergency vessels that need to be coordinated. Plus, she's got a helicopter landing pad. The Red Dolphin, on the other hand, also has decontamination showers and an infirmary, but she can only project about a third of Red Sailfish's water capacity at 19,000 gallons per minute. Singapore's Civil Defense Force is no stranger to fireboats. They have two very fast fireboats called the Red Swordfish and the Blue Swordfish. Both speedboats can travel at 40 knots and can project 1,100 gallons of water per minute. Number 2. Water Bombers all right, shifting gears a little bit, let's take it to the skies and look at some of the most amazing and coolest water bombers out there, since not all firefighting vehicles are groundbound. It's important to note, though, that unlike the ground-based firefighting vehicles, water bombers don't actually put out fires. Instead, they assist in the fight against fires by doing several things. Water bombers are used to strategically knock down hot spots to help prevent the fires from spreading, and to cool off the ground area so that the firefighting crews on the ground can do their work safely. To do this, they don't just use water, they also use water enhancers like gels and foams, as well as specifically formulated fire retardants like Foscheck. So, water bombers or any type of aerial firefighting vehicle works with other firefighting vehicles to get the job done. In any case, when there are large fires that pose the risk of spreading widely and quickly, water bombers play an integral part in containing the fire and in helping the ground units quell it. With that being said, they also look amazing doing it, as they release their massive loads onto the ground below. Starting off with the Hawaii Mars 2, this is the largest operational flying boat in existence. The Hawaii Mars 2 was built in 1945 for the United States Navy and is part of the Mars series of bombers. The planes were originally used as troop and cargo carriers before they were decommissioned in the 1950s, but shortly after they were decommissioned, the Forest Industries Flying Tankers bought up these babies and converted them into firefighting bombers. These amazing aircraft could hold up to 7,200 gallons of water, which is enough to douse up to four acres of forest. Hawaii Mars 2 flew for British Columbia's Wildfire Service until 2015, and it helped put out countless fires. It had a length of about 117 feet and a width of about 13 and a half feet. Its wingspan was 200 feet, and its four propellers were all nearly 17 feet across. It flew at a top speed of about 225 miles an hour and with a cruising speed of 190. Next up is the C-130, which started working for the U.S. Forest Service in the 1970s. They were used for decades to suppress fires and contain oil slicks, and even though the fleet was grounded in 2004, they're still being used by the National Guard with the modular airborne firefighting system. 
One of the newest bombers to hit the sky is the CL-415, and unlike a lot of other bombers, which were originally used for other things than being modified for firefighting use, the CL-415 is one of the few aircraft built specifically for water bombing. Nicknamed the Super Scooper, this cool-looking bomber is able to both land and reload right on the water, so it's highly efficient in fighting forest fires. And last up, we've got the DC-10. The DC-10 means business. It can drop 12,000 gallons of water in one shot. Just to put that into perspective, that's up to 10 times as much water as most mainstream firefighting bombers. So needless to say, when there's a raging fire, having the DC-10 around is highly beneficial, to say the least. Number 1. Ferrara Inundator Super Pumper What a name. The aggressive fires that need aggressive firefighting equipment, and when the fire's really ablaze, it might be time to call in the Ferrara Inundator Super Pumper. Why? Because this bad boy's called the most aggressive industrial fire truck on the planet. It's also one of the first fire apparatus to be fitted with the new high-velocity pump, which delivers pump performance that's unheard of for any industrial pumper. So the short of it is, this super pumper can blast out water at pressures previously unheard of. Really record-breaking. So just how powerful is it? Well, when hooked up to a pressurized water source, the super pumper has surpassed a flow rate of 10,000 gallons per minute, and the water stream can hit 500 feet horizontally and 400 feet vertically which is very impressive and useful in the world of firefighting, since it can spew out water onto fires that are as far away as 500 feet. That might not look like much in your mind's eye, but videos of this truck spraying out its water show just how far that really is. The truck is built on a Ferrara Inferno custom chassis, and the truck is powered by a Cummins ISX 15-liter 600-horsepower engine, along with the Allison 4000 EVS transmission. Given its amazing water pressure, its amazing flow rate, and its amazing ability to project water to amazingly long lengths, the Ferrara Inundator Super Pumper has earned the top spot on this list of the top 15 most amazing firefighting vehicles. I'll see you next time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.